Hey, it's Denver, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the colors in your Ableton to match whatever vibe and whatever sec you have going on. Let's get into it. You're gonna to head to livethemes.co and just browse for a theme that you like. I am in a pastel mood. So you just go pastel. And the really cool thing about them is you can customize them as well. Which ones do I like? Let's do the pink and blue pastel. So you just download it. So what you want to do is go to your applications and then find Ableton, right click it, show package contents. Then you'll have this folder, open it, then go down to app resources. And then you are going to put your fun little themes under the themes. I have downloaded the pastel pink and blue, so I'm going to drag it here and you can see the pink and blue pastel. Now we're going to open Ableton again. Oh, it's opening on my other window. Oh no, there it is. And you command comma and bring up your themes by going to look and feel. So right now it's like the mid light, which is fine, but I want to do the pink and blue and there it is. And now I just want to be a little pastel girl and that's fine. And if my eyes hurt, boom, we can change it to dark. We can change it to not the default. Light, no, I don't really like the light. You can change it to whatever you want. The great thing is you can customize it by remixing. You do have to make an account though, but you can like have your own themes and it works in Ableton 11, Ableton 12. Don't worry about that. And I think this is just a fun way to breathe some fresh energy into Ableton, especially if you're like sick of watching the gray kind of dreary Ableton vibes and you just like want something fresh. If you want to speed up your Ableton workflow, check out my shortcuts video here and let me know what theme you have on your Ableton.